We're going to mix it up a little bit with some new players. We got Beast and Pilgrim. Pilgrim, a uh, New England native. The uh, Alf player, unfortunately. Uh, great guy otherwise. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I feel like there's like a good amount of characters in this game that really call uh, into question the ethics ah, and like yes. the morals of, of the person playing right, them. Right, right. Like, like I know some lovely people. They play a little bit of Luigi and I'm like, hmm, maybe not so lovely anymore. But that being said, game number one between Pilgrim and Beast. This is going to be a bit of an interesting matchup. Ivysaur is going to be so big on edge guarding right, uh, right. all among just because like you can go out there, you can put out so many hitboxes and no matter how many pick many threw out there, um, you can just, it, it won't help you that much. And it looks like we're going to see a lot of that. Beast doing a very good job of just keeping Pilgrim off the stage. And then when Pilgrim manages to sneak back on, just immediately throwing him back off. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Ivysaur just pretty good in this matchup in general, just because of like the amount of space Ivysaur can take up. Although Charizard, no slouch either. Olimar is, does not want to get hit by pretty much any Charizard move at this percent. So one really big thing for Beast to take into consideration, look at the amount of damage that he is taking thus far. True. He needs to be cognizant of the Pikmin that are actually on him at a given moment so that he does not reach these, you know, absurd percentages so quickly. Um, it's really important the all-among oh, matchup. Oh, yep. yeah, that's going to do it. It's, it's really important just to know, like, which of your hitboxes cover your entire body right, that you can right. use to get the Pikmin off of you. Yeah, we saw like 30 or 40 percent just from the white that got stuck on him. We tried to do Charizard up till, but it wouldn't hit the Pikmin correctly. So good stuff. Pilgrim actually with a little bit of a lead now too. Not just a little bit of a lead, a pretty solid lead as well. Beast just tries to find his way out of this advantage, tries to go through that grab, um, but Pilgrim is just being so patient and meticulous out of the corner right now. Wow. It's a little bit of a reversal actually. P uh, just Pilgrim putting Beast. Oh my goodness! What an armor through that back air. <gasps> And, that's and the Flurry Blitz interacting with the Pikmin. Oh my goodness. Some smart a, stuff from Pilgrim. A beast Pilgrim. without Flurry Blitz is like an artist without the paintbrush. <laughs> what do you do? Just uh, get him on the next stock, I guess. Uh, Pilgrim, really good landing option there. I thought it was going to be a stock, but oh, that might be it. Wow. Yeah, Pilgrim like delaying the wake up option just a little bit longer, and as a result, uh, just threw Beast off the timing. Most people in that position, they buff the goal, they buff the neutral get up. Uh, but sometimes people forget how broken it is just to wait. Exactly. So we're seeing a little bit more of that. That's going to be a big hit with the purple back here. And there's a really good lineup for Pilgrim here. He's got two good Pikmins for Smash Attacks. He could take the stock. You got the purple and the red, although I think the red, uh, he's taking a break. Yikes. Oh. Yikes, indeed. Like, I feel like a lot of these interactions are like a, just a little tiny bit icky. Yeah. But such is the reality with extended hitboxes and Pikmin constantly on you. But now this is Pilgrim at a huge lead, only needing one up smash. You know, one blue Pikmin to go, uh, one purple Pikmin. What do you do? Honestly, it's really tough here. You got to do something a little crazy, but we got purple is so good for spacing. Red's good for smash tech. And wow. just a good old-fashioned aerial will actually do it, too. Pilgrim taking game one in a bit of a surprising fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was not even just like a game one. I feel like this was a pretty confident game one. In my eyes, Beast is getting slightly matchup checked. From what I know, uh, there aren't like any like two. There aren't too many like notable Olimars, uh either in like Pennsylvania or um, in New Jersey. Oh, good for that them. I yeah. could. <laughs> I love how coldly you say that too. You're just so mad at the fact about it. You have like no emotion in it. Like yep, yeah, good yeah, for them. That's... Yep. <laughs> but it is true, and we are going to say the, the exact opposite thing, or uh, a similar related point, is Pilgrim is showing some like really interesting knowledge, too, putting the Pikmin on to stop the Flare Blitz, yeah. things like that. So it's just like a, a, definitely a difference of knowledge. So we'll see here. Uh, the classic start from Pilgrim, getting a nice response from Beast, putting the pressure on 40-50. Mm -hmm. 64%, but then using the down B as a way just to be able to super armor uh, and get your way uh, back to the ground. But now Pilgrim has taken so much damage. All is going to be so light. If that up B connected, that easily would have been the stock. Definitely, definitely. It's a rough spot to be in. This is definitely what we saw at game one. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> Why? The worst option. <laughs> But it did it. It, it, did. it did the job. Yep. Beast did not have the timing and trying to combo off of the up smash. This is going to be an even bigger punish. Maybe not quite, just a single one off up air. Yep. Pilgrim not wanting to extend a little bit too much. And all among his damage output is nothing to sneeze at. Neither does Charizard back air. Beast finally with a stock lead. Yeah, it was a pretty good lineup from Pilgrim, but as you said, Pilgrim wasn't overextending, then went for a forward smash and died for it. Charizard back air came in. Look, at, look how patiently Pilgrim played. Just 
keeping this line, keeping the space between themselves and Beast. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Saw the button, saw Beast whiff something, ran up and up, smashed wow. immediately. That was, it was such a small interaction, but just Pilgrim played it so well. All right, but this is such a rough spot to be in. Omar has such a hard time landing. Pilgrim, pretty good at it though, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good lineup for damage here, too. Got the and already at 89%, all of his damage output, once again, just constantly coming into play. Pilgrim keeping himself safe under the platform is what I would say. Right. Uh, <laughs> until, like, Beast just stomps down on them. All right, well, almost a good landing, but Pilgrim messed, messed it up just a little bit. Having a hard time getting down, but whoa. Whoa. Back throw here. And yep. all of that extra lag from the down smash just gave yep. uh, Pilgrim the opportunity to get an even bigger punish. And... Look how safely Pilgrim is playing too. I feel like, like once again, like Beast is not fully showing how they want to be playing this matchup. Right, right. This lineup is huge, actually. You got the blue in there for the up throw, and the purple to kill with the aerials. <laughs> wow. Love that. And, and immediately chucks the blue Pikmin, gets another one for a new lineup. Pilgrim's uh, kind of crazy with it. Also, it's a little bit of a secret. I actually love Olimar, so. I feel like that's go. pretty contrary to everything that you've said <laughs> up until this point. True, true. I'm a, I'm a complicated individual, but what's not complicated? A, bit, a, person, <laughs> a person of many feelings, a person true. of mixed emotions. True, true. All right, so this is a great movement from Pilgrim. Putting the pressure on with the purple Pikmin. We have the yellow, uh, the white, rather, mm -hmm. on deck, too. We've seen how that damage can add up, but it doesn't matter. Going to reset one stock apiece. But Beast at 80%. Gar, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough and to be rooting for Beast right now. I feel like Pilgrim is just playing so patiently at mid-range, too. But now this is Beast's advantage state, setting up another tech chase, getting the back here, and suddenly this is Beast's game to take. But Pilgrim, knowing the exact position that they want to be fighting out of, Pilgrim on the verge of an amazing upset right now. That purple Pikmin definitely saved Pilgrim's life on the left <laughs> side of the stage there. We're just going to see back-to-back -back smash attack. Looking like it. Red, purple, blue is... Okay, blue's in the lineup now. Got to watch out. There it is. <gasps> there it is. Wow. Ah, unbelievable. The blue Pikmin came through just in time. Pilgrim taking it over Beast. I call that an upset. Probably the first of the day. That was that was a really solid uh, set for Pilgrim, just yeah. in control basically the whole time until Beast. I mean, when you're off stage against Beast, doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how good you are. Beast is in control of the game. But everything up until that moment, um, wow. I just feel like Pilgrim played so so well. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be Pilgrim moving on. Beast uh, gonna be dropping out to losers um, a little bit soon, uh, but you know this is definitely not the last of them that we've seen definitely today. Not, definitely not. It's Beast. I think we'll be all right. 